people from the outside are always saying that the, the bucket is rigged. Two or three duds in a row, it's kind of stupid not to have it be rigged. I feel like they have to put on a good show. Maybe it's like rigged by destiny, you know? There's some, been some wild bucket pulls. Compelling evidence that you ain't never seen before. From the bucket pool being rigged to deep madness faking being blind. This is a deep dive into the craziest Kill Tony conspiracy theories ever. All right, back to the bucket we go. You guys understand now, this is a real show. There's no prompters, there's no scripts for these people, as you can tell. First up, let's dive into the controversy of the rigged bucket. Now fans is always speculating that it's all staged, like Tony secretly swapping out names in the lineup. I, I don't even know this fucking guy. I That's met him amazing. during the commercial break. This is incredible. Are you serious? Is there anything you want to shout out or anything you want to f you want in return? It kind of makes you wonder, how is it always the same people getting pulled over and over again? So naturally, I did a ton of research. And where else do you end up when you're looking into conspiracy theories? Reddit, baby. And the rabbit hole I fell into was wild AF, y'all. There's all these Reddit posts where people's just going off about how the bucket pulls his red. So a Reddit user named The Freshmaker posted the question, why did they pretend the virgin guy was a bucket pool? And another user named South Bay replied with, if people already complain about the scripted bucket pools, they have to ensure the content is decent. Imagine if it was fully random with 250 people, it would be a shit show. Here's the deal, the show needs to stay watchable, right? So maybe it is rigged for the sake of entertainment, but it still feels a little dirty to people. Your next comedian goes by the name of Wow. We know this young man. He came on the show two weeks ago and made a fucking impact. Ladies and gentlemen, his second time ever on Kill Tony. This is Aaron Belial, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, everybody. All the way from Canada. His second time ever on the show. Already a Kill Tony legend. Like, people think that Tony might be able to feel the paper or some stuff like that. Like, he could be pulling out blank pieces of paper and we would never even know. So the show gained a lot of views real fast and Tony's gotta make sure that the show doesn't drag on. Nobody wants to sit through another set that makes you question your life choices. Tony's gotta keep the energy high. So yeah, maybe he is curating the lineup just a little bit. Oh! Yo, 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 what up, dogs? My name is Joe. Take care. Joe Crazy. Come on, baby. Oh, I, I want to get straight to the point and talk about it. Yeah, we don't want none of that. Maybe it's like rigged by destiny, you know? Because there's some, there's some, been some wild bucket pulls, you know? Like, and it's, those people like stepped up too, you know? Like not everyone like gets pulled out of the bucket, even though they say it's rigged, like does well. The hell is this man rigged by destiny? I, look, I guess that's one way to put it. Now some of these pools have just been wild. Like Tony has pulled some big names out of that bucket. Like we're talking A-list celebrities and it really makes you wonder how random is that? Devo, Stevo, everybody. Wait a second. What? What? It's the actual Stevo. Like seriously, out of all the names in there, Steve-O, I mean, it's cool and all, but it kind of makes you wonder how random that really was. Some of the comedians even had something to say about this controversy. Two or three duds in a row, it's kind of stupid not to have it be rigged, you know? But, and, and I mean, that's how I would do it anyway, but I have no fucking idea, to be honest with you. I, it's not like I've asked Brian Redfan when we were backstage together, you know? I mean, look it, you got this guy saying he doesn't think that it's rigged, but then he goes back and forth on it. He's basically saying, hey, if you're gonna have two or three bad sets in a row, it makes sense to rig it, right? Now look, I kinda see the point. Like, the whole show gotta be entertaining. A few duds in a row and the crowd is out, but at the end of the day, he admits he ain't got no clue. Tony hasn't denied the rumors, but he hasn't confirmed them either. And y'all know that Tony is a huge wrestling fan. Not sure that helps, but we all know that wrestling's got its own reputation for being real. Am I right? It's like people realize that even if it is fake, it's still fun to watch. Like maybe Tony's got magical hands and that just happens to pull out the funniest people every week. Or maybe he's actually got a wrestling style script going on. 
Either way, the show still slaps, and that's what counts the most. So another controversy is that Luis J. Gomez used magic to get out of eating a kidney stone. People don't seem to believe that he ate actual kidney stones. Now people are split with a lot of fans asking if what they saw was even real. After all, it's not every day that somebody eats a kidney stone live, and the whole back and forth isn't going to end anytime soon, which makes the moment even more iconic. Is there? Uh, but then I was like, no. I, no, no. Yeah. Take a sniff. Oh There's my God. blood on that rock. There was blood on that stone. I'm not. I, I wasn't gonna do it. He opened it. That was one chaotic episode. I mean, every episode of Kill Tony is chaotic, but this was on a different level. The way he does it is both impressive and absolutely gross. Like you'd think that he was just tossing back a tic tac. Meanwhile, y'all can see Sal Volcano sitting next to him, looking both horrified and entertained. It's like he signed up for a comedy show and ended up in a horror film. Let's see that. Let me see that, Lewis. That's, Lewis oh, God, Lewis, it's never don't. been open. Lewis, it's don't. never been open. Don't, Lewis, no. No. Put that away. Oh, fuck, dude. I no. never opened No. <laughs> okay, we all saw that, right? Looked like he actually ate it. And if he didn't, then that's some next level stuff right there. Now, people got all these controversies that it wasn't real, like it was some kind of serious magic that even Penn and Teller would be impressed by. So, what's the verdict, guys? Was that sleight of hand or not? Let's dissect this real quick. Let's see that. Let me see that, Lewis. If you take a second to rewatch that moment in slow mo, we can get to see. With just like 40% of unsolved crimes, we still got no clue if he actually ate it or not. When he popped that thing in his mouth, I thought, is this dude for real? I mean, who does that? If he did or did not eat that thing, but that came out of that man's body, he deserves an Oscar. what that taste like? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Dude, that's, I can't even hate on this. It's, it's, yeah. That's the, that was the right thing to do. <laughs> the right thing to do. Oh my God. Wow. But you took that guy's Look at you. Yeah, dude. It was huge. Now, Lewis keeps throwing out explanations, and it just makes the whole thing even more entertaining. Now, I definitely got fans talking, though. Some was convinced that it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen on Kill Tony, while other people were straight up disgusted. Either way, people couldn't get enough of it. A fan summed it up perfectly. You hate him, then you learn to tolerate him, and somehow, you eventually love him. This is a trajectory for every Luis J. Gomez fan, which every Luis J. Gomez fan seems to experience. He's like that one friend who's just a little bit too much, a little too extra, but in the best way possible. But my fans... Uh, you're a master of sleight of hand. They know that I'm a master of sleight of hand. Yeah. I did, mm. I did see a comment on it that said, people don't know Lewis is, does Coke magic. Does Coke magic. A lot of people don't know. In fact, if you guys haven't watched it, go back. I believe Coke magic is in its entirety on it YouTube still. But back to the magic trick theory. There's something to it. The way Lewis pulled off the eating was almost too smooth. The dude barely flinched, and that alone is bizarre. Now, was it slide of hand? Maybe. Could he have actually swallowed the stone? Sure. But either way, the fact that people are still talking about it means that he did his job. Honestly, if he didn't eat it, he deserves an award for best performance in a Harry Potter audition because that was some serious magic. Did he pull a fast one on us? Man, who knows? Whether you believe he ate an actual kidney stone or just executed the greatest magic trick since Houdini, only one thing's for sure. That's one of the best moments in Kill Tony history. And honestly, isn't it more fun to keep the mystery alive anyway? Is he blind? Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> nah, -uh. I'm realizing right. Okay, so let's get into the wild world of deep madness and his so-called blindness. Now, this started when Matt Reif, the king of casual comedy, randomly asked the question during his show: "Is deep madness really blind?" And that, that was funny, but does Matt not watch the show? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he did not flinch. I would like for that to be on the record. He did not flinch at all. He's not <laughs> flinching. In yeah. fact, he smiled at your attack. <laughs> Fans are going on about different theories, like how every time he hears something gay, he loses a little bit of sight. 
Now at this point, D Madness could open a comedy club based solely on this whole blind debate. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's man, one of the things no that I tend to go over with the guests. We have a blind bass player. It's like part of my ramble. <laughs> my pre I hope he threw a that. towel yeah. and missed him. <laughs> Let's talk about, about D Madness's backstory. His real name is Lorenzo Dwayne Jackson Jr. He's got a story that could make a movie. As a kid, he started drumming at three and was already playing music in church by five. He was inspired by a Stevie Wonder song that his dad played, thinking, if Stevie could do it, so can I. He didn't just stop at drumming. Nah, this guy picked up the piano, sax, and became an award-winning violinist. Like, can you even? I can't even carry a tune in a bucket. And every time I try to play hot cross buns on the recorder, it sounds like hot cross cat in the oven. Now, of course, his mom was nervous about him navigating the world. Like, she's she like every mom out there, right? Worried about him finding his way. But the man has told her to just chill out and trust him. Like, can y'all picture that level of confidence? While most of us is just trying to figure out how to be an adult, he's out there, like, telling his mama that he's got this whole life thing covered and figured out. I really didn't, like, play guitar until later because I wound up, I went to school for the blind. Don't be laughing at me. <laughs> I see your looks. So, huh? What up with bullshit? His debut on Kill Tony was an amazing episode. Now, I remember watching and thinking, this guy is hilarious. His stories was relatable, and the guy was a natural. Tony could not agree more, and shortly after that, Deep Madness was announced as the new bass player for the show. Now, he was one of the best cast on the show. He brought a whole new vibe to everything, making it 10 times funnier with his random comment. This is D-Man, this is Stevie. Yeah. This is D-Man, this is D-Man. Listen up! And let's not sleep on the fact that way before his debut on the show, D-Man is once shared this stage with Stevie Wonder. Like what, man? That is just legendary. Fans have had a lot to say about this whole blindness debate surrounding Deep Madness. Now, legally blind doesn't mean that he can't see at all. He might have something like pinhole vision, which gives him just enough sight to get by. It's interesting because a lot of people don't realize that a lot of people who are considered blind still have some level of vision. Now, at the end of the day, he definitely knows how to entertain us, one way or the other. So, while we're still over here debating whether these are real controversies or just random speculations, Kill Tony never fails to deliver, and that's why we keep on coming back for more.